Hi, I'm Jim Ross, cinematographer with Cinematics HD, and this is another episode of Cinematography Tips from the back of my grip truck. Today I want to talk to you about my approach to lighting shorts. Now this applies to stuff you're doing on the weekends, the fun stuff, and the stuff that you're really pushing yourself to get a lot in, say a 48 hour film festival or just stuff you like to do on the side on the weekends. I do mostly corporate work, but I love to do narrative work on the weekends with my friends, either comedy stuff or even dramatic stuff. And you're always working on a short time, short, small crew, usually a lot of people who don't know what they're doing, but they're, they're all heart and those are great people to have. So how do you approach lighting when you're limited in time, budget, space, prep time, all those kind of things? Uh, kind of like what I said when you're, when you're, you're setting up your shots, you just kind of go in and assess the situation because when you're doing a short, lots of times it's the first time you've seen it. The day you show up, <laughs> is that's when you first see the shot. And you need some kind of lighting kit. Now, not everybody's gonna have an elaborate lighting kit with big 2Ks like this, but in fact, these are kind of hard to work in homes because they'll blow the fuses. So I usually use a small kit, Lowell Pros, Omni Lights, and maybe some tweenies. Those are like airy uh, 650s and 300s and stuff like that. And these are all very affordable lights and you can rent them really cheap. So when you go into a situation, a lot of people just want to go with the available light. And that's the way a lot of these DSLR filmmakers go. And when you're outside, that's one thing, because it's hard to work outside with artificial light because you really need a lot. You need big, powerful HMI. So when you're outside, you, you are going to go with available light. But that doesn't mean you can't modify it by using bounces and silks, even using white uh, sheets on the ground will get the sunlight to bounce up upon your actors' faces. Using white foam cord below the camera to bounce that, lo that light up so people don't have dark sh uh, sockets in their eyes, especially if they're wearing hats. If you're going to do a little cowboy western, you're going to have somebody doing a Clint Eastwood thing, it's you're not going to see their eyes unless you bounce some light from the sun. When you're working inside, uh, sometimes something as simple as throwing a 1K up on the ceiling will give you a nice ambience. Uh, but you just, you just don't want to stop there because you can get lazy. You can just go in every room and point a 1K at the, at the ceiling. Uh, for example, um, when we did the, our pharmaceutical mockery, uh, what we did was first thing is I always start with a backlight. A backlight is super important. It's the light that most beginners are going to omit. Uh, a backlight will get you separation from your background. It's super important. So I always figure out the first thing is where can I put the backlight so it's not seen by the camera? And that will change the look of your film dramatically. Then we just pointed a tweenie up into the ceiling, but we just didn't throw it up there and leave it. We modified it with the barn doors and we changed it the angle so we could get a little Rembrandt shadow on our actor's face. You just don't point a light up to the ceiling and say, okay, well, we can shoot. You, you really want to modify it and, and make it work. So we even, we even put a frost on it. So we soften the light. And so these things you want to take in, into consideration. You just don't want to walk in to a room, point a hot light at the ceiling and roll camera. It'll be very boring. For example, when we shot the bar room scene, the bar was actually very well lit. We could have uh, rolled an, an image 80 uh, Kino Flow that I had that we were using in the other room uh, we could have just rolled that in, put it over by the windows, and just put this nice soft light, and that would have been good to go. Uh, now, if we hadn't had any time to do that, that's probably what I would have done, but I had two other guys with me that knew lighting. I went in there, I told them what I wanted. They put up the small lights. These are only small 200 and 300 watt lights, and we gelled them, and then now when you see the scene, it looks, it looks really cool. We decided that less was more. We turned off all the lights in the bar, and just use these three or four small lights, low pros and some open face pars uh, that were gelled and barn doored and, and flagged to create this bar atmosphere. It took a little time, but only about an hour. But the result, because we took that time and decided that less was actually more, it looked better. So think about how you can use your lighting not just to get your exposure, that you can illuminate the background, throw a light with a gel up in the corner behind it. You know, when you, when you look into the frame, you see that wall and say, that would look nice if it just had a shadow on there or maybe shine it through a ficus or something like that. These are the little things that you just take a few more minutes. It's gonna make a huge difference in your production. 
Well, thanks for joining me for another tip from the back of my grip truck. I'm Jim Ross, cinematographer with Cinematics HD. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like this and subscribe and all the other YouTube stuff that you do for GGHK. I'll see you next time.